just for the record, I really am not into my makeup today. Just like one of those days where, like, I had something completely different going on with my eyes, and then I topped it with this gold tart shadow. Um, still hate it. Not really a fan. So if you don't like it, just know that we're both on the same page. If you do like it, thanks. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I like to talk about fitness and beauty and a few things in between. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. So today I'm going to be doing another one of my makeup collection videos. And before me, I have all of my single eyeshadows, everything from ColourPop Super Shock shadows to liquid glitter shadows to some regular single powder eyeshadows, some indie brand stuff, some random stuff that I've gotten from Ipsy. Like, I have no idea how to rank any of this, so I didn't. Everything that I have here I like and I use for different purposes. If I'm going for a certain look, I will use this over that, so I don't know how to rank something like that. So I hope you can understand. But as I go along, I will recommend certain formulas over others, maybe different brands over others, depending on what you're looking for. And hopefully this video will still be useful to you, aside from just looking at pretty makeup. Notice that I said single eyeshadows, meaning there will be another video exploring my eyeshadow palettes because I have a problem with eyeshadow. I'm an eyeshadow addict. With all that being said, I guess we can just dive right in. I'm going to start with just a few of my random eye single eyeshadows that I didn't really know where to categorize. Most of these are things that I've received from Ipsy. First things first, I have this eyeshadow from Colored Rain. This was from Ipsy. It's called Humi. It is a very beautiful rose gold. Next I have this orange eyeshadow. It's like a very vibrant burnt orange from Estate Cosmetics. The eyeshadow is called Pipe. I love orange eyeshadows. As you'll see here in my a bunch of my single eyeshadows, I have a couple different oranges. I think orange eyeshadow looks so complimentary for me with my hair color and my skin tone and my eye color. Come fall, I'm all about the orange shadows. This summer I've really been having fun exploring colorful eyeshadows, some pastels, some greens, some blues, which is not really like me. But come fall, I've got some my rusty oranges and some pukey green and pukey yellow colors that I'm really excited to play with. So. Next, this is fairly new to me. This is from Ulta, it's their Ulta Beauty brand. It is a powder eyeshadow in the shade Watercolor. It's really cool, it's like a duochrome blue, purple, pink. It's really pretty, it's very, it's very light. I like to use this as more of an eyeshadow topper because it is very light and I prefer to be a little bit more dramatic and bold with my eye makeup. But once my eye makeup is done, I will put a little bit of concealer right in the center or towards the inner corner and then just with my finger dab this on top and it's just it's really it's just really pretty i like the iridescence of it next up i have this eyeshadow from kaleido cosmetics i know that i mentioned the brand kaleido in my favorite by cheek rankings video and they're really really good brand not to be confused with kaleidos which is another indie brand that i hear a lot of people talk about i haven't tried any of their products i'm sure they're great as well but kaleido cosmetics is really they're really good oh this is one of their diamond foils in the shade paradiso and it's just this, it's really pretty olive metallic green shade. One of my favorites, again, come fall. These are the type of shades that I'm really excited to be rocking. So oh, I hope that is showing up as beautiful as it is in person. Anyway, next I have this eyeshadow from Phase Zero. It's their pressed eyeshadow in the shade Mush A Boom. I find that it's hard to come by cool toned eyeshadows. So I went on a mission last year trying to find like the coolest, prettiest. I was looking for a shade just like this and then Ipsy sent it to me. So it's like they read my mind or something, but it, I wanted like a cool toned taupey gray, like a gray brown. And this was exactly what I was looking for. It's gray, but I feel like gray can sometimes look really muddy even if you, uh, even if your application is really good. I just feel like for me as the day goes on, I don't know if it's just, maybe it's me, maybe it's the way that I'm applying my makeup, but I just feel like it starts to look dusty and kind of muddy. This shade, I like that it's got a little bit of warmth to it because of that brown. It's just, it's a really pretty shadow. And Phase Zero, as I said in my cheek rankings video, it's a really good brand. I've tried a few of their cheek products also. Always seems to be on par quality, so highly recommend checking them out. 
Next is another one I received from Ipsy. This is the uh, uh, brand IBY, another brand that I really, really like. I've received a number of their products. It is their Lush Eyeshadow in the shade Fire and Ice. As you can see, if you can see, it is like a, it's a really cool duochrome. It's like a brown base and from the different angles. It, it shifts to red, to green, to almost like a purple in some lights. It's really cool. I'm sure the camera is not going to do it justice. Another shade that'll be fun come fall time. Next up I have this one I purchased myself. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade 755 Gilded Envy. This one is pretty new to me. I wanted like a grayish green and this kind of hit home for me. Maybe it's better to look at my finger there. Another one that I prefer to use as a topper. I very rarely go in with a single eyeshadow because I love doing my makeup and I find that I'm able to express myself most through my eyeshadow. I really enjoy that whole process. So I always go a little bit extra. I will usually build up my crease a little bit and then usually my outer corners with some darkness to add some definition. And then I will take a concealer or my NYX eyeshadow base, which I don't have here to show you. I can pop a picture of it here, but I will dab some of that base or concealer where I want to apply my eyeshadow topper. And then before it dries, I'll quickly use my finger to tap that on top and it just does a really good job of uh, enhancing the metallic or the shimmer or the color overall of the topper sh shadow plus it helps it stick and well there's a little tip for you. Next up I have this eyeshadow from Viseart. It is their... I'm not sure. <laughs> This is from one of their, this I received through Ipsy, and it's just a single shadow that appear, appears to already be existing in one of their eyeshadow palettes, so I don't know that this is something you can get on its own, but it's a really pretty white gold. I like to use this in my inner corner or on my brow bone. Turn down my lights a little bit to see if that helps. This is the only thing that I've ever tried from Viseart. I have to say I like this, so I'd be enticed to try more from Viseart. Next, I have this single shadow from Buxom. It is the shade Patent Leather. And it's this super, super glittery purple color. Buxom makes great products in general, but their eyeshadows are really fun. Of course, because I'm an eyeshadow lover. Of course, I've tried their eyeshadows here. I think one more that I'll show you here in this category of misfits, my misfit category. I can't even swatch it because there's nothing really left in there. It is, I talked about this in my summer favorites, my summer makeup favorites video. I will link it here. It is the Palladio Crush Metallic Shadow in the shade Star, Star Dust. And it's beautiful. Uh, there's nothing really in there, so as I'm showing you an empty pan, <laughs> I've repurchased this a couple times. I get it from Amazon. I originally purchased it from Sally Beauty. I'm not sure where else you can buy Palladio products. Uh, it's a champagne shade, but because it's a metallic shadow, it's a bit extra, a bit bolder, a bit more vibrant. All right, next up, I want to talk about these eyeshadows that I purchased from an indie brand called Pretties For Your Face. I did an Instagram post talking about this brand, my experience with ordering. The lady who runs this business is wonderful. She's in this for her pure passion and love and her products are amazing. I did swatches and I did looks. I'll insert a clip of my each look that I did with each of these four eyeshadows here as I go about talking about them. The only thing that I, and I'm not sure that it's a complaint necessarily for uh, on the brand's part, but the packaging that these came in, I know when I purchased these, I had the option to buy a compact for them for an extra dollar. I opted out of it because I planned on putting them in my own eyeshadow cases. And so the cases that they came in are really like strange <laughs> for me to open. Like my brain didn't really understand it at first. And so, and I think that coupled, see it's, it's just like a different, it's like a weird way to open it. Like I normally I would think that this part lifts, and so I was sitting there trying to lift it forever. <laughs> uh, it's the exact opposite way. And then it's like the shape of the pan kind of gets stuck up in the lid here, and so to get it out, I kind of have to tap it. And in doing that, I have somewhat shattered two of the shadows here, and I haven't yet tried to fix them with rubbing alcohol, because I'm not quite sure what sort of container I want to put them in. So 
I still use them. I mean, they work just fine. They're just kind of like a loose shadow formula now. They're still just as beautiful. Again, it's not a fault on the brand. I think her eyeshadow formula is very, very soft and very fragile to begin with. So I don't feel that these, this is the best packaging. For me, I probably should have just paid extra for the compact to see what kind of packaging that would have been in. Maybe that would have been a bit more protective for the shadows. But anyway, just something to note if you if these catch your eye. I do recommend the brand. She has some beautiful products. I will insert a clip of all of the swatches here so that you can see them because, like I said, these two are pretty, pretty shattered, pretty fragile. But I have the shade Light as a Feather, and it is a really pretty white duo chrome with purple and blue really fun to work with again i use this more so as a topper the look that i created with it i'll pop it here this one is called asteroid and it is a wasn't this one asteroid is just a really pretty pinky purple metallic shadow very very vibrant this uh, it's hard to say which one is my favorite because they're all beautiful but this one is one that i can see myself turning to more so on a daily basis because even though it is purple it's like a mid-tone purple almost like a mauvey purple and it's so beautiful on the eyes that one would be like an all-over shadow shade for me actually this one is the shade brocade and it is just a very beautiful sparkly green eyeshadow i actually i don't remember where i read it or where i heard it but i heard that this was a dupe for one of the pat mcgrath green shades in one of her eyeshadow palettes that has my heart uh, i can't remember what her palette was but anyway that shade really caught my eye and kind of sold the palette to me. I'd be like, oh, should I? No, because now I have this one and this is beautiful. I like this. I've used this a few times. I really like it to line my lower lash line. I'm excited to use this come fall and winter time, especially around the holidays, so that'll be fun. And this shade is called Electrified. This was one of her special, special, I don't remember what she called them. It was a polychrome or a trichrome. But it is like the base is like a silver and then depending on which angle you're looking at it, it shifts purple to yellow to green to pink. It is really, really, really cool. This is another one that I feel like you have to wear all over your eyelid to really appreciate its uniqueness because if you just go in a little bit, you know, in the center, it's, you're not going to be able to see its full, its full beauty because... You only have just a little bit on your eyes so this is a very fun shadow i know her polychromes or trichromes again i'm not sure what she calls them are a bit more expensive i think they're nine or ten dollars maybe eleven i don't recall exactly but anyway pretties for your face very pretty products i would purchase from her again she offers a lot of other products too i know she has highlighters i know she does like a lot of body care products too soaps and body sprays and whatnot so she started out on etsy and now she has her own store which i will link down in the description box so i highly recommend going to check her out i'm going to talk about my nyx eyeshadows here so there is a little drugstore that is down the street from me the smell inside the store reminds me of my childhood so i just like going in there it's like very nostalgic for me but they also have makeup and <laughs> they sell a lot of NYX products, a lot of NYX products that I don't see in like Walmart or Target. So especially their single eyeshadows, which I don't see anywhere except for in this little drugstore. So I go through there every once in a while and usually when I'm there, I'll pick up a shade or two. But NYX single shadows are really, really good. I think really underrated. I don't hear a lot of people talking about them and being, I think for the average person, most of us don't need hundreds of eyeshadow palettes it, you know especially after you have two or three of them you almost have all of them because every single eyeshadow palette is going to have a neutral brown it's going to have a dark brown it's going to have a black it's going to have a white it's going to have a champagne it's going to have a taupe you know it, like all these colors start to be repetitive and for me that i started to see that happen and i was more so looking to grow my collection by collecting more super unique single eyeshadows and i found that with some of these nyx eyeshadows here and not to mention their formula is really, really nice. I'm not going to swatch them all for you. I will just point out a few of my favorites. This one here is the shade. My shadow name is Bear It All, and it is just a very pretty plummy brown. It's really rich, very pigmented, very soft formula. So it is just like the perfect chocolate brown in my opinion. Another one that I really like, another brown. This was on discount, so I don't know if they still have this shade or not. And it's the shade Not Today. It's just another brown. It's more, it's a, a bit lighter, a bit warmer than the other one. More of like a red tone brown, like a terracotta-ish. It is this one here. Very pretty, very pigmented. Another favorite of mine is this one in the shade Frisky. 
it's another burnt orange again with the orange. This is like one of my favorite matte orange shadows that I have. There's a bit of a dip in here already. I've had it only a few months, but orange again, like I said, is really complimentary, I believe, on my skin tone. And I really like using it in my crease. This one here. It's coming off on the camera like a very primary orange, but in person it's very it's very warm tone, very um, very rusty, like a rusty orange. Another one that I like is a yellow in the shade Cougar. I'm on a mission, and I think I've accomplished that mission, is to find the perfect mustard yellow eyeshadow. And this one is a good one, recommended. So if you are on that same mission, I recommend this. It's not showing up super great on camera, but it is a very, very primary yellow. Very good formula. I would recommend for the yellow, yellow eyeshadows in general seem to not really show up very well on the eyes. So I recommend before putting it on to start with a, the, a concealer or that NYX eyeshadow base that I mentioned, or, or, or the NYX, what are they called? The NYX Fat Eye Pencils. The shade, there's one, um, I think it's called Cottage Cheese or Milk. I don't know, it's, it's a flat white, uh, eye pencil and so if you put that on your eye before going in with an eyeshadow and you can do this with any color eyeshadow But I'm just saying specifically if you're having a hard time having your yellow eyeshadow pop on your eyes That's a trick that I use to really make the color more bold and vibrant and show up more so as it appears in the compact or in the pan Because I feel like once you get it on your skin It's very easy to blend out and it doesn't pop the way that you want it to so Try that trick next time Another one I have, I mean, I just kind of want to swatch them all for you because they're all very pretty. This one is the shade Liquid Gold and Legit. That is what it is. It's a beautiful rose gold. NYX just really kills it with their single eyeshadows. I've tried, I think, one, of the, one or maybe two of their palettes and was not impressed at all. Like, I, I don't understand why they don't use this formula in their palettes because their palettes then would be amazing. This one is Bedroom Eyes and it is a chocolate metallic brown, another favorite of mine. This bottom one here. As you can see, they're swatching just beautifully. Like, I'm really killing these swatches <laughs> considering my previous swatching is terrible. Okay, I'm gonna show you two more. These, they're really unique duochromes. This one is the shade Mermaid, and it is just like a sea green. Super cool. I like this one as a topper or to put in my inner corner. So Mermaid is like a sea foam green, and then this one, Frostbite, is like a frosty uh, white blue, like a white base with a blue and pink shift. Super cool. Another one that I like to use as a topper or in my inner corner. Just fun shades. I have three more here, but I'm not gonna swatch them for you. This one is Dolce. This one I got on sale. I don't know if they still have it. It's just like a really light, almost like a yellow orange. This one is Dance the Tides. It's just a chocolate brown and there's tiny, tiny gold flecks in there. And this one is the shade Get Naked. This was another one that was on sale. And it's like a it's like a poopy greenish brown color. This one I was a little bit disappointed in. I was another mission in addition to my yellow eyeshadow mission was to find the perfect like poopy green color which I'll talk more about in my eyeshadow palette video. I have more to show you that I think helped me accomplish this mission. But this one was one of the first ones that I got and it, it was really disappointing. It's really light, kind of dusty. I don't use it a whole lot actually. So that is all of my NYX single eyeshadow. I know Ulta sells a bunch of them also. If you are looking to expand your eyeshadow collection and don't want to keep collecting palette after palette, I highly recommend the NYX singles. They're really, really nice and affordable. All right, I'm going to talk about, I'm not really sure what to call these. They're like a, like a foiled glitter pigment type shadows. I have four of them here. If you are familiar with the ColourPop Super Shock shadow formula, these are similar to that. The first one that I have here is from Tarte and it is their, one of their chrome paint pots in the shade Park Avenue Princess. I did purchase this through Ipsy. You know, Ipsy is great, and I keep talking about them and all these things that I'm purchasing from Ipsy without actually talking about it. If you are not a subscriber to Ipsy, I'm not necessarily saying, like, go out and do it. But I just have found that I get a lot of cool stuff from Ipsy, and they have really, really great deals. Uh, seems like once a month they do, like, flash sales, and that's where I get a lot of my full-size products for a really discounted price. Uh, like this Tarte Chrome Paint Pot, I believe they're normally like $22, $23. My Wander Beauty Glotion that is normally like $30, $35, I got it for really cheap, $18, it was a two-pack. 
I got a few full size It Cosmetics face washes. I got them each for $12. I'm a nobody, so definitely not sponsored, but I have been a, an Ipsy subscriber for years now and I just continue to love them more and more every year. Well, I can't rave about them enough, but another product that I did purchase through Ipsy and it is just this really pretty gold metallic eyeshadow. It's actually what I have on my eyelids today, even though I said that I didn't really like my makeup today. It's very vibrant. Like I barely dipped my finger in the pot there and it is just gold, baby. Every time that I use this shadow, except for today, today's not a great example, but it's not the eyeshadow's fault, but I love it and I have gotten complimented on it many times. I don't know that I would pay $24 for it though. I have this NYX shadow. Here, let me just compare these for you. The NYX liquid gold eyeshadow. I'll swatch them side by side. And once you get them on the eyes, you know, are you going to really be able to tell a difference? Granted, they're different eyeshadow formulas, but you know, like, is it, this one was like six or seven dollars, eight dollars, under ten, and this one is over twenty, you know, like, I, to me, is that worth it? Again, bougie on a budget, I don't know, but again, thank you to Ipsy, I'm very glad that I was able to get it for a very affordable price for me. So, I do really like that, and there's a lot of product in there, like, I can't imagine me using that up ever, but anyway. This one is the uh, Touch and Soul Metal Sparkling Foiled Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade Aurora Taupe. And this one is like a cool toned gray, almost like that uh, Phase Zero gray eyeshadow that I showed you earlier. It's like a grayish brown, but there's some purple shift and glitter in there. Really cool. Very fun for cool tone eyeshadow looks. I have purchased this from Sephora. They I know they have a few other colors, like four or five other colors. I know they've got like a rose gold, they've got a champagne, but this is the only one that I have. I like it for, you know, the days that I want the cool tone eyeshadow look very fun. These two are from Bodyography. And these are beautiful. If you are a sparkle lover like me, you are about to flip, okay? These are a bit expensive and I did pay full price for both of these, so. The, oh, I'm sorry, these are the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. I'm not sure if I said that. And this one is in the shade Stratus. One of my favorite YouTubers, Mariah Leonard, talked about this in one of her videos and, and I ordered it like almost instantly. She, like her eyeshadow and makeup taste in general are kind of my absolute favorite. So this is right here. It is like a, it's like a very light, white pink base with tons of multicolored glitter in there. This is something that I would apply with my finger to my eyelid and I would take, um, once I put it on my on my eyelid, I would continue to blend it out for just a bit with my finger to really kind of pack it in there to really like um, smush is the word that I want to use, to like really smush the glitter in there and to really blend it out so it's not, so it looks like it's just like part of your skin and once you do that it makes your eyelid look wet that, that's exactly how Mariah had described it and sold me with that because I was looking for something like that I have a few Colourpop Super Shock, Super Shock eyeshadows that kind of give me that effect but not exactly as dramatic as I want and this is exactly what I want um, it's, it's beautiful and I think these are $23 they are available on Amazon or the Bodyography website very very pretty they have many many colors in these glitter pigments i just have two of them the other one that i have here is the shade caviar and this is the ultimate standalone smoky eye eyeshadow ever created in the entire world it is like a i don't even know how to describe it it's like a dark grayish brown with like a hint of like purple in there and again, with the same application method that I said, you put some on your eye and you just continue to blend it out with your finger. And it just, oh, the camera's not gonna do it justice whatsoever. Neither is my poor swatching here, but it's so pretty, so pretty. I should have worn that today to show you because it's something that you have to see in the eyes. They're, they're very soft, moussey formula. The Tarte Chrome Paint Pot is one that I can just kind of pat on there and I can I trust that it's not going to budge all day. These, if you have oily eyelids, I, I, I can't speak to that because it's, it's, it's a much softer formula. So I don't, I can't say with confidence that it's not going to last all day. I, I don't know. I'm sure you could apply a powder base and maybe that'll give it something a little bit better to stick to versus the cream base, like the concealer or the NYX shadow base. So 
Yes, I love them. Those are a few of my favorite single eyeshadows that I own just because they're so beautiful and unique and pigmented and sparkly, so they're very fun. All right, I think next I'm going to get into my ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. And you should know that I have many. I have many. I I think I just counted 27 Super Shock eyeshadows. Um, so I'm not gonna swatch them all for you, but I have pulled out a few of my absolute favorites here. ColourPop, while I love them deeply, they also frustrate me almost just as much because you find a product that you love, you fall in love with the color, and then they go and discontinue it when just in time for you to run out and want to go back and repurchase it and it's no longer available. So a few of the shadows here that I'm going to swatch, I'm, I hope that they're still available. I, I will link them if they are. If not, I'm so sorry. First one that I have to talk about, I did mention this also in my summer favorites eyeshadow, my summer makeup favorites. It is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. This is one, just like the Bodyography Stratus pigment that I talked about, one that I, it's got a big old dip in it because I use it all the time, but one that you apply to your eye and it just makes your eyelid look wet. This one has more of a neutral skin tone base rather than that pink base like the sh like the bodyography one with tons of glitter in there and again if you just blend it out with your fingertip it really melts into your eye it just gives you this really pretty wet look that i don't know if you're into that i think it's pretty the other one that i have that i also talked about in my summer favorites video is i heart this this one is very similar only it has a taupey base so it's not quite as uh transparent as ritz but it's another really pretty one if you are just looking for Minimal makeup, maybe a cool tone look because it's 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 not really showing up quite as it appears here in person. But it's taupey, it's very cool tone. So if you're looking for, you know, just something lighter, natural, more minimal type makeup, but you still want some glitter, those two I would highly recommend. Another one, let's see here. Oh, I'll share my favorite rusty orange super shock shadow here with you. This one is the shade Three is a Cloud. I was just on their website looking at their Super Shocks and I can't, I can't remember if I saw this one or not, so again I apologize, but just a really pretty rusty orange. Another fun one is this one in Glow Sticks. It is in like a neon yellow and I don't know, it's so bright that it's not really showing on camera. But anyway, this one you do have to, I mean you can build it up to be super vibrant on your eyes, but it takes a bit of building up. So that was a, just a few, it's so, it's so glowy, it's so glow sticky that it's not really showing up on camera here. This was just a few swatches built up here on my hand, but if I'm really wanting to go there with some bold yellow eyeshadow, this I have used a number of times, so it's very fun. Another really cool one, this was part of their Disney collection. So they did like a Disney collection and then for each Disney princess they had like a, a lipstick and a highlighter and a super shock eyeshadow and this one was Ariel's of course so it's called Under the Sea and it's super unique, super cool. I don't have anything else like this. Of course you're not going to be able to see it but it builds up to be like a very pretty metallic -y sea foam, sea foam green. Very fun. Another one that I really enjoy is the shade Ripple. It is like a light purple pinky shadow. I do wear this one quite a bit too, it's really fun. Yeah, so it, it shifts from like a, a blue and a purple depending on what angle you're looking at it. Very cool. Another one I don't think they have anymore is the shade Bay. It is like a deep purple with that shifts blue depending on which way you look at it. That one builds up to be super dark on your eyes too. It's it's very fun. I did post if I can if I still have it saved in my stories, I will pop a picture up of the look that I created with that one. It's really it was a lot of fun. Two of my favorites. I really really like this color of eyeshadow. It's like a yellow greenish metallic shade. I've got a couple of different formulas with very similar similar color to this in my entire collection that I'll show you as I go about sharing everything. But I, again, I think it's very complimentary on my on my eyes with my skin tone and my hair and it's not showing up yellow or green or gold on camera, but in person it's really cool. It's really, really reflective. Like I'm looking at it here and when I shift my arm, my wrist, it goes from like a red to a yellow to a green to a gold. Really cool. This one is called Moonwalk. 
So I think IRL is much more glittery than Moonwalk. That is the difference that I see, and I actually prefer Moonwalk, to be honest. Again, I, they're like the same exact color, so I don't know that they're, it's gonna show up. It's the bottom one here, but it looks the same to me, only Moonwalk is a bit more red and hardly any glitter in there. It's just like a metallic pigment, super cool. I have the shade Twitter Painted is another one of my favorites. It's like a pinky, pinky gold with some glitter in it. It's very light, so I don't know that it's gonna show up. Yeah, hardly at all, but this is, this is fun. One more that I will swatch for you is the shade Millionaire. I think this is like one of their, their classics, so they should still have this one, hopefully. But it's, I mean, it's pretty basic. It is a brown with, with some purple and silver glitter in there. The glitter is very, very light, so if you just like to keep your eye makeup basic and you just want to stick to the neutral colors, you know, browns, taupes, whatever, but you are interested in the Super Shock formula, I recommend Millionaire. It's very pretty, very, very everyday. And the Super Shock eyeshadow, if you're unfamiliar with it, is really, it's really soft and bouncy. And it's not one that I found that I can use a brush. It's definitely one that you have to dip in with your fingers for full application. With a brush, you don't really get any, you don't really pick up any pigment. So it's definitely one that you have to use your fingertips. I think that's all that I will show you then for my Super Shock eyeshadows. If you are interested in seeing all of the, eye of the Super Shock eyeshadows that I have, comment down below and I can do a separate video swatching all of them, sharing all the colors that I have. But for now, that's I'm just gonna show those to you. I do have a few of their matte Super Shock eyeshadows. I will swatch. How about I swatch just one for you? I think they're a bit underrated. This one is one of my favorites. It's the shade Bill, and it is like a, the perfect like purpley taupe color. And I like to use this as a standalone shadow, or sometimes as like an eyeshadow base. If I want it, if I'm trying to create like this one specifically, if I'm trying to create like a mauvey eye makeup look, sometimes I'll use this as a base all over my lid and then I'll build up with powder on top of it and it just kind of helps the powder stick a little bit more and also intensify the color a bit. That technique can be kind of tricky to work with because having that sticky base underneath can make your eyeshadow look patchy if you're not careful, so, but it's something that I do like to do that will enhance the color and the wear of an eyeshadow. So this is the shade Bill. I think they still have this. This is, again, one of their matte Super Shock shadows that I think are really underrated. They're not talked about a lot, and I think that might be because they're difficult to use. I think a lot of people purchase them and expect to be able to dip in there with a brush like they do with all their other eyeshadows, and nothing really happens. So I do I do really like this. I have a few of their matte shadows. They're, I, I enjoy them. I use them quite frequently. All right, I think next, I should have included these in my Misfits, but some of these are my ColourPop single eyeshadows and I hesitate to mention them because again like I said ColourPop is really good at having a really cool product and then going and discontinuing it either the the formula or the color itself but I will share a couple of these with you so my first one my absolute this is like one of my favorite unique eyeshadows okay this is the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Miser and it's like this really cool like orangey base and then it's like a duochrome like it flips to like a blue in some lights it's so cool i did an eyeshadow look i will pop up the picture here so that you can see it of course you're not really going to be able to see like the flip because it's just a standstill picture but one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows that i own it's just so unique and if you look at it up close in person I, I don't it, I mean you're not really gonna be able to pick it up but if you're looking at it up close in person there's so many tiny little blue glitters in there like the 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 contrast of like the blue glitters and the orange pigment is so so cool and again for someone if you have similar complexion to me highly recommend snatching that eyeshadow color up if that interests you a few other color pop eyeshadows that I have here this one is called made to last it is just like the perfect Transition crease color. It's just like this beautiful mauve. I've got a fairly decent dip in there. One of my favorites Another one that's really cool is wishful winking. It is like a bluish greenish purplish Here's wishful winking wishful winking right here. Yeah, it's really cool Another one is called antimatter. This is Super dark super bold. I don't wear a whole lot, but I think Again, come fall and winter when I'm more into the darker eyeshadows, it'll be fun. So it's it's like a blue base, but in some ways it shifts purple, so it's the bottom one here. One more ColourPop shadow is the shade Glass Bowl. This one gets a lot of hype, and while I do like it, it's really cool, really unique, I just, like I can't find a way to work with it in a way that I really like it. So it's this one here. And it's like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's, it shifts blue to red, 
but it's it's super light. I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, I have it and I've used it a few times. It's cool, it's definitely unique. I definitely don't have anything else really like it in my eyeshadow collection, but I think it's a bit overhyped. I, I, I don't really know what to say about it. Like, I, I like all of these, these other ones so much better, so. Three more random single eyeshadows that I'll talk about here. This first one that I received, for I ordered from Sydney Grace. <clears throat> Sydney Grace is an indie brand and they have beautiful eyeshadows. I think they also sell blushes and highlighters. I know they sell lip glosses. I, I'm not sure what else they have, but their eyeshadows are, I think, where that brand shines. So this is the shade The Greatest Gift. And it's another, it's another duochrome shadow, so it has like a pink base. And then depending on what angle you're looking at it, it shifts from pink to like a baby purple to like a green. Um, it's that bottom one here. It's so, so pretty. Don't have anything else like it. And that's what I'm after. This one is from Makeup Geek and it is their shade Chickadee. It's just a really pretty transition color. I really like orange eyeshadows for, for my skin tone, my complexion. And this one is a MAC single shadow in the shade Uninterrupted. So as I mentioned, my mission to find the best, pukiest, poopiest yellow green shadows kind of started with this eyeshadow. Actually it started with the Melt Cosmetics Rust Stack. They had a shade in there called Rubbish that again Mariah Leonard, my favorite, I had talked about that shade in there, the shade Rubbish, and how it was the best, poopiest yellow ever. And so I, I remember I went and I looked it up, and I don't remember how much the stack was, but it was very expensive and something that I wasn't willing to pay for, especially if I was just after it for that one shadow. So I went on a hunt for color dupes of that shadow, and this was one of the dupes that I read about. And I, again, it is the MAC Single Eyeshadow in the shade Uninterrupted, and it's, it's pretty damn good. As you can see, it's like a poopy, poopy yellow. So if, again, if you are on that same mission, highly recommend checking it out. All right, we are getting down there. All I have left are my liquid glitter eyeshadows. The first one that I'm gonna mention is from Ulta. It is their Ulta Beauty brand, and this is one product. While I really like the color, it is like this pink duochrome-ish, like a pink, green, blue glitter pigment. It burns my eyeballs. I honestly don't know why I still have it, because I'm not gonna use it which is really unfortunate because it's a really pretty color. Let's see here. The NYX glitter goals are really good. I've got two of them here. One in polished pinup and one in industrial. Industrial is like a gold gold and then polished pinup is like a rose gold. That very good formula, doesn't burn my eyes. I would recommend these for sure. They're very affordable. I think they're like $8 and they have a few different colors. If you're looking for like a glitter shadow, NYX Makes some good ones. Another one that I really, really like, as you can see, it's almost gone. Milani Hypnotic Lights Holographic Eye Topper in the shade Starlight. This is just like the perfect, it's like a white base, but then it shifts pink and blue and a little bit of like a light green, depending on what angle you look at it. It's really pretty. I like this as like my inner corner or like right in the center of my eyelid. Very pretty. Really catches your eye depending on what angle people see you from. So. A few other good ones that, really, really good ones that I don't think they make these anymore are the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadow. These are so good. My favorite one here that I'll swatch for you in the shade Cashmere Love. Again, I, I hesitate to go ahead and swatch all these for you if I'm not sure that they even sell them anymore, but it is the perfect like taupe color with some glitter. It stays metallic looking that, like that on your eyes and they're, they're just really easy to work with. You know, the, the, if I showed you the applicator, it's like a lip gloss type applicator. It's just really easy to get into and to spread about on your eyes. I will then take like a flat eyeshadow brush. This one is a bit large, but once I have it on my eyelids, I'll use a flat eyeshadow brush kind of like this and then just blend it out how I would like. And it just dries down nicely and it seems to stay all day, so very pretty. These other th that I have, Fairy Tale Ending. Fairy Tale Ending is really cool too. I'll swatch that one for you. It's like a light purple that shifts gold, depending on what angle you see it from. So that bottom one there, really cool. Very, very cool. If, if they don't have them anymore, that's really disappointing. I don't know why, because these are amazing products. The Ruby Heist was just like a, a red metallic on your eyes. Very fun around the holidays. And when stars align, I'll swatch this one quick for you. It's like a black base eyeshadow with purple and gold and green duochrome relax, depending again what angle you look at it from. Just so cool. And the formula of these was just fantastic. 
highly recommend if they still have these. Pick a few up. See here, this one is the newest to me. This is from Koki. I did get this from Ipsy. I wore this. I've worn this a couple times. It's actually it's really unique. It's so it's like a rose gold, but up close it has like like pink and purple glitter. It's very it's very light, very subtle. I definitely recommend it if you're one that prefers to stick to more neutral color tones. Very pretty, very classy looking. And I have no complaints with this product. I have enjoyed it. In my concealer video, I talked about having tried Koki for the first time with their uh, Koki Be Bright Concealer. And I really like that product, and now I like this product. So I would be curious to try more, more Koki products, even though I have plenty of products here. One of my favorites is the Too Faced Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Guava Glitz. The, the only complaint that I have about these is the price. I mean, I, I feel like if you have been watching my videos, you should know me by now. I am a bougie on a budget kind of girl, and when I'm able to get a liquid glitter eyeshadow that is as beautiful as, as these for, you know, under $10, it's really hard for me to look at a product like this and to recommend it to you and to myself be willing to buy it and pay that price when I know I can get just as good of a product for, for a much more affordable price. So it's just like a like a, a beige taupey base with all kinds of multicolor reflex in there. It's just one that I see that I find myself turning to more so on a daily basis. Uh, I think just because of the neutral color, but really good formula, no complaints other than the price. Another really good one here, I've got two, uh, three more here to talk about, is the, are the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Eyeshadows. I have mine, it just says eight, but it's their black, black liquid glitter eyeshadow. Um, uh, this is beautiful. I think these are like eight or nine dollars and this is just a just a black with silver glitter and it's fun <laughs> I mean if you're going for a smoky eye I'm really excited to use this come fall I've got so many fun eyeshadows to use come fall time here so I'm pretty excited about that so yeah really good formula again no complaints here the formula is easy to blend out it does dry fairly quickly but it's workable as you can see it's drying down and I'm able to still move it and blend it out. So if you're not wanting to go with that full on black, you can use your finger or like a flat brush and kind of blend it out and it dulls the color a little bit. All right, so the last product that I have to talk about here are the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. And I'm a bit torn. They are, I have five of them and they're really, really good. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I have the blue one here, Ocean Eyes. This one, Disco Queen, is really cool. So it's like a, a white base with silver and green and orange and just multicolored color glitter, and they're really cool. This one is Bling Bling, and it's just it's just silver glitter. One of my favorites. This one here is Dirty Martini, and it is like a the, a green base with silver glitter in there. That one's pretty cool. And then my favorite one here is Flirty Birdie. It is like a rose gold with silver glitter in there. So my issue with these is that I find them to apply a bit patchy, and not all of them do. Like my favorite ones, the silver seem to be pretty good, Flirty Birdie is pretty good. These two I seem to have a harder time to work with. Like they apply to your eyes a bit gloopy, and if you aren't careful about blending them out correctly, they will dry down a bit gloopy and just kind of look chunky on your eyes. But they're not really one that I feel like I can just swipe on my eyes. Like the, like the Wet n Wild ones are really smooth and really easy to work with. These are a bit more finicky. And one more thing that I've noticed is that they dry up really, really fast. So I bought this, I don't know, like in, in the springtime and it's already just, it's really, really dry. And you know, for me only having this for a few months, whereas like the Too Faced one, I've had this for a long time. My mom gave this to me, I think about a year ago, and I don't know how long she had it before she gave it to me, but, and this is still as good as the day that I, I got it. You know, it's not dry or hard to use. I got the Wet n Wild the Good Cat Suit eyeshadows before the e.l.f. ones, and these are still great formula. So that that's just my only complaint, is that they seem to dry up quickly. So I would recommend to not be like me. Don't go ham and buy all of your favorite shades. Just pick one or two that you like and work with them. Because if you don't use them up soon enough, I think they are going to dry up and you will have wasted your money. So, so with that being said, that was all of my single eyeshadows. I hope that 
it wasn't too chaotic and out of place. I apologize, I wasn't really able to rank them for you, but I hope in me showing you some of my favorite products and some of my favorite formulas to work with that you learned something. If you are an eyeshadow lover like me, hopefully you enjoyed my somewhat okay swatching and maybe you found a few things that caught your eye. So that is just what I'm hoping for in sharing these videos and in sharing my collection. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope that you subscribe so that you can show up again next time. And until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. These are just usually, uh, the majority of these are things that I only have from that brand. Does that make sense? Not really. It just gives you this really pretty, wet looking look. Yeah. Cool, dude. Hmm. Green and blue and red glitters in there. Not red. There's not red glitters in there. I mean, there would be silk and tinted liquid. I mean. Watching. Look at that, I almost nailed it like right in the center of the camera that time. So.